Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another video. So you can kind of call this Chloe Bailey part two. But this time we have a um, featured guest. Um, Trey Songs decided to step into the chat room. Um, before I even get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. If you do not know what's going on, um, Trigger Trey was trending. Now, actually, he's been trending, trending for a minute now because I seen something yesterday. Um, I guess he started on OnlyFans. And, um, because I was watching somebody's video and somebody was like, Trey Songs, so it's a porn star now. And I'm like, huh? Okay. Okay. Because I know Trey put out an album last year. And let's be real, the only people who bought it was his fans. Let's just be honest. Now, before y'all come at me, I used to be the biggest Trey Songs fan. If you saw my original Keith Powers video, or if you saw my story time and I was talking about his fans and how they they just wanted to like fuck him and they didn't want to get they didn't really support him like that. They just a bunch of dick riding fans. I was like a supporter of Trey's, but also like a fangirl at the same goddamn time. Like Trey songs I supported to the core. I watched his interviews. I um I didn't buy his music, but I listened to his music. I only have I only bought one album. That's the Trigger album. Um I'm literally looking at it right now. <laughs> um but I had his music. Don't get it twisted. I had his music. Um I've been support I was supporting him since Gotta Make It, you know, since I was nine years old. And, um, it kind of died down around 2015, 2016. Um, and it's kind of, yeah. So, uh, my favorite album by his is Chapter 5. Um, uh, my favorite era of his, though, is Ready. Because that's when he cut his hair and he started working out. And then they was on my neck. Yeah, yeah. So, when I listen to his music, I go back to the glory days, Okay. I don't listen to his music now because I just feel like, okay, you, you uh, I, I just, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so don't come at me. I just, you know, I'm just keeping it real. You know, some people do shit just to get their careers going. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Trey Song decided to, um, allegedly, um, Let's just say um, he was having some um, mouth work done on him. And um, he's packing a shotgun, not a pistol. And I don't even think shotgun is the right word to use because I seen it. That thing is huge. He packing more meat than a warehouse. A meat warehouse. There's more meat than Subway. More meat than Longhorn. Now let me tell y'all something. I'm not shocked that the video came out. I kind of saw it coming anyway. If y'all have been a Trey Songz supporter or a Trey Songz fan. He got two songs called Don't Judge and Inside Part 2. Don't Judge literally at the end of the song. There's an audio of him getting hit. And then inside part two, there's an audio of him fucking. So, and I love the fuck out that song. I still listen to that damn song, okay? I don't know if I ever have sex to that song, though, because it's weird. Whatever. But anyway, um, <laughs> but this is nothing new. He's been doing this since then. He probably has a bunch of videos, okay? This is nothing new. This is the first time we just seen it. And I feel now people are saying allegedly that's him. I think that it is him because the tattoos. And one thing that about Trey, this is how you know I'm a Trey Songs fan. Well, I was a Trey Songs fan. I'm not a Trey Songs fan anymore. Um Trey, when rumors come out, if it's not true, then Trey will deny them. But if it is true, he doesn't confirm them nor deny them. He kind of just rides the wave. And an example of this is when um, it was rumored that Brittany Renner was messing with him. And he didn't really deny that he was messing with her, but he never confirmed it. But now we know that she was messing with him, okay? So, with that being said, 
I watched the video. I did. Okay. I'm thinking Trey Songs is trending for his, you know, his music or something. But actually, I didn't watch it on Twitter. My friend, um, sent me, she screenshotted it. And then she, um, or screen recorded and sent it to me. And thank God I did not open it while I was working because that would have been bad. But, um, so I watched it. We joked about it. We laughed. I told her I would never take that, that wang because it's too big. It's too much. I can't do it. The only way I would take a wang that big is if I got married. And, um, yeah, because I'm trying to keep my, I want to keep my walls intact. I, okay, we not about to do that. And uh, this is not even alleged. Trey actually said this um, in an interview. I think it was an Angela Yee interview, but I'm not sure. She He said one time he was receiving fellatio and a girl threw up on him. And now we know why. <laughs> now we know why, okay? Now after I did all that, we kiki, laugh, ha ha. I'm going to the store and I'm like thinking. And I'm thinking, okay, he riding the wave. He's not really looking at it, looking at it from a negative standpoint. That that's good because it could stand, if that's really you in the video, stand by your shit. You know, that's how I feel. But I couldn't help. I thought about Chloe. Because I'm thinking, and I even said it out loud. I said, what I don't like is the hypocrisy. When Chloe was showing her body. Loving herself, saging her room and her t-shirt and underwear, doing the busted challenge, doing the, the, the sil silhouette challenge. Why did she get bashed? But you got this man over here who ain't been relevant in God knows how long. And he ain't been relevant since the whole Kiki Palmer situation. Let's just keep it all the way real, okay? He ain't been relevant since then. This man allegedly is a predator, okay? This man is allegedly abusive okay y'all damn near made chloe cry but y'all praising this man so i have a question mainly for women i don't really need a man's answer because i already know what the answer is going to be and this is my question what is the difference i'm asking women this question and not men because I already know what men are going to say well uh women are sacred and y'all should not be showing y'all bodies and uh back in the back in slavery days that's how you know they full of shit back in slavery days slaves were forced to show their bodies and they were sexualized okay but you're not making it any better by sexualizing them because a woman should be able to wear a tube top and some leggings or wear a, 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 a dress that's short or whatever without you sexualizing them. I didn't even, the video with Chloe Sage in her room, I didn't really care that she was in her, her t-shirt and panties. What I cared about was that she was sage in her room. That's spiritual. She's cleared out the negative energy. That's what made me say yes, okay? But y'all was so fixated on what she was wearing that y'all missed the bigger picture, okay? And as far as this nigga go, you had a bunch of women. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying you can't like what you can't like the video. Okay? If you I'm not saying you can't. But I'm gonna need for some of y'all to keep the same energy because y'all were the same women that was putting down Chloe, but y'all taking up for this man talking about, and again it goes back to my whole Keith Powers video that I did a long time ago. Y'all sitting here praising this man. For, for showing his alleged penis, which I think is his, y'all ain't never going to be with him. Let's keep it real. You're never going to be with him. Ever. Ever. Which I can understand why y'all thirsting over him. But keep that same energy is what I'm saying. If you, you, I just, I don't understand. And I was watching um, Jesse Wu's video. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of hers. I don't really know too much about her to be a fan of hers. But she was saying some really, really interesting points. And she, one thing that she said was, you have some women who cater to the patriarchy. And I agree 100%. And we call them pick-me's. And my thing is, if y'all don't like the term pick-me, then come up with something new. Because that's what you are. Either you're a pick-me, or a hater bitch, or a desperate bitch. Okay? A following ass bitch, okay? Pick one of those terms. 
I'm gonna just call you confused because y'all are confused. So, with that being said, I just feel like keep that same energy, okay? If you're gonna praise one for doing, and then my thing is in this situation, it's two different situations. But it just shows you how powerful and how men benefit from the patriarchy. Because all Chloe was doing was just showing appreciation for her body. And again, everybody's self-love journey is different. No, I'm not saying you have to show your body to love it. But she, she, she's putting herself out there. She's appreciating her, you know, her, her um, stretch marks. And, and she got a nice body, okay? She's 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 not having sex with anybody in, in in her videos, and even if she was, she grown, just like Trey. If that's really him, which again I think that's him, he grown. He can do what he want to do. But my thing is, you see how he benefited from that shit, and she didn't. Don't maybe go back to colorism because it's the same shit. Because I had a whole bunch of... Now, don't get me wrong. I've been watching a lot of colorism videos. And I really, really love how Light Skins is coming out. And saying that's some bullshit. And we benefit from that shit. And we need to end that shit. You know? I'm really here for it. But you got a couple couple big me's that, that they, 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 they act like it's, it's, it's all in your head. And it's la la land. And it's like, nobody benefits from it. Darker skin benefits from it. Show me one dark skinned woman who benefits from that shit. Okay. Anyway, that's another video. Cause I can make a thousand colorism videos. But um, yeah. Th that's another thing. You know, and I, I may make another video after this one, just going a little bit deeper into the Chloe situation because you know, Jan Jackson got bashed. Beyonce got bashed, Mariah Carey got bashed, Britney Spears, because it's not just a black woman thing. I feel like black, like I said, black women have it harder, but that's a, just a, that's just a woman thing in general, you know. Um, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, um, Ariana Grande, um, Miley Cyrus, yes, Miley Cyrus. So my point is, they all been bashed for for getting in tune with their sexual side, all of them. Madonna, okay. She, that's like the queen right there that got bashed <laughs> right there but it's a real thing y'all so I don't really expect men to really understand because they're not going to now you got some men that do and they feel like that patriarchy agenda is some bullshit and we all should just love each other and love one another and support each other and come together but you got some whole tep niggas <laughs> okay and I call y'all niggas because y'all ignorant you got some who feel like, no, that's just disrespectful for a woman. She, a woman should cover up. But y'all be the same ones that be tagging on booties in clubs, going to the strip club, admiring women, and doing this and doing that. But when a woman who is respectable shows her body, it's, oh my God. But I'm more appalled that women are doing it way more than men. I mean, it's like a given. Like when a woman shows her body or puts out a sexual song that's a given that a man's gonna come out and speak against it but for women to come out and speak against it it's like huh this is like huh how you gonna call yourself a feminist feminism is about choice right i thought feminism was choice uh, okay but anyway um that's all I, I, i'm gonna say about it just keep that same en energy stop the hypocrisy and um yeah um subscribe and comment let me know what y'all think about the situation and uh, Trey Songs. Damn, um, I don't know if this was like a some type of PR to get your career back because, like I said, when was the last time you was relevant, bro? Exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.